Again, this is the Ram 2500, the 2020 Ram 2500 install, and the front seat style is the 402040 with a top storage and a non-bottom storage. So that does not lift up. That 20 section bottom doesn't lift there, but this top one does have storage up here. So we'll show you how to install all those three pieces there. Also the bucket seats, show you how to install those and the headrest covers. And we'll actually get started first doing the middle uh, 20 section first. Okay, the uh, top section will be the first one that we're due. we'll do. It's just this uh, top lid. So we'll undo this strip of Velcro right there. Take this and just pop this over, just fit it over. Good, that's looking good there. So there's that cutout around that handle section. I'm just making sure these corners get pulled back nice and tight. And I'll go ahead and kind of lightly do this velcro strip together right now i'm not going to crank too hard on that that just helps keep the sides down now this back piece really will finish out once i get the the 20 section backrest so this this piece right here is the back side of that one and this lid will connect together and that'll be the next piece that we'll do actually so here is the cover for the 20 section backrest. Again, this is the 20 section lid cover. Now we're gonna flip that 20 section up. Here's the 20 section backrest. So if somebody was sitting there, that'd be their backrest. Okay, so this one just kind of fits over like this right here. There's gonna be this piece that pushes through on the back side right there, but I'm gonna to try to kind of fit it in place a little bit before I push that guy through. And then I'm gonna even just kinda hold this with one arm up here as I push this through on the back. Okay. This is gonna end up lining up pretty close to that top of that plastic right there. You'll see that in a second how that finishes out. And then these pieces, we'll show you how to do these. These are the side connectors and they're gonna, they have this sticky back Velcro right here that that sticks to the console. And then these Velcro pieces then stick to each other right there. And I'm gonna show you a few tricks Few different methods of how to do that and make sure they stick on and stay on. Okay, so again, main thing is just getting this console lined up before we stick that Velcro down because we that Velcro is really going to be the last piece that we do on this 20 section backrest because it ends up uh, ends up being the case that you want everything to be set in place before you stick those down. So I'm gonna check out everything, make sure everything's getting lined up how I want it. This one should come to about right there because then it's gonna come behind right there. This one on this side right here is actually gonna come about this area and stick onto this section of plastic right there, okay? So before I, again, before I do that, I'm gonna take this Velcro and stick that on to the back of this. Here's this lid cover, soft Velcro. I'm gonna take this hard Velcro right here and pull those together right there. One way you can do that too is lifting this Velcro up a little bit 
and then sticking that down. Okay, nice. That's, that's looking good there. There's the front side. So we always want to check before we kind of finish installing everything down to see how it's looking on all sides. That's, that's looking pretty good right there. That's lined up nice right there. Looking smooth. I can even kind of work that up and over the corners a little bit more to make sure that everything's looking nice and tight. Okay, so now that's all looking good there, we can start to kind of lock this, lock this down with these, these Velcro pieces right here. But there's a couple tips that you'll wanna follow to make sure you get these Velcro tabs stuck down good. And the first tip is get some of these, or if you have an alcohol prep pad around in a first aid kit, these are just these little alcohol prep pads that you can take out and just clean up your console really nice. Now, you, your console may be a little dirty right now, it, but also if you've recently cleaned it with any kind of like leather cleaner or oil-based uh, cleaning agent, then that actually will make the Velcro, the sticky back Velcro really hard to stick on. So you're gonna wanna just take these alcohol prep pads, clean it off, get it nice and dry, and that's gonna, that's gonna give the, the sticky back adhesive the best chance to really stick down. Okay, another tip for you is you can heat this adhesive up a little bit by just keeping it in a warm vehicle, put it next to your heater, or you know even just hold them in your hand or for a little while. It'll, it'll warm that adhesive up a little bit because if it's a really cold day, then it can be kind of tricky to get this adhesive to stick down. The other piece is where I'm gonna put this piece right here uh, is I'm gonna actually trim up uh, this soft Velcro piece right here. So then it's just sticking to the, the hard plastic. I don't want any, anything sticking to that uh, cloth right there. And then the other thing I'm gonna do too is see how this one sticks out a little bit right there? I'm actually gonna trim that a little shorter right there so that way it's I don't have an, a flap edge flapping over. We have the Velcro stuck down now and let me show you the four locations where we put them again. Uh, the, the, the way you find these locations is you pull this tight so it's, it's looking uh, you know, nice and smooth on the side and then you just line that up. So this one's gonna go right there Okay, this, this corner back piece right here is gonna go, and that's, I just kind of lined it up. I just said, okay, that's that's about where that needs to stick down. Stuck it down, now, one, again, clean it off real good, try to heat it up a little bit, and then stick it, and uh, let it let it sit on there for a minute before you, before you try sticking this on and pulling it, okay? And really try to push in hard before you, you stick that down, okay? And then here's the other two pieces right here. You see those two, and this this back one right there. Again, how you find that is just stretch that around, see where you're gonna have to stick it down, and be like, okay, that's where I'm gonna put it. And then here's this other one right in the corner, kind of going right along that side right there. So you could, uh, again, just find those exact same spots that we did, just by pulling it tight, making sure that's the location. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it tight, and then set those down right there like that. Okay, so there's that side there. Now I'm gonna do this one here, just pulling that back, sticking that down. Same thing right here, okay? Now that, that piece is done there. So you can see that when the, this has a little bit of extra fabric right here. So to close this, you sometimes you need to pop it down. That I want actually on this 2020, must have a little bit of extra space than other years because usually that's a little bit tighter to close that. But right now, that feels just fine. It closes, looks nice and clean on the sides there, nice and smooth. Both sides are looking really good. And that's how you do that. 
Now, one other trick for you, okay? If you find that for some reason, these, that adhesive is not sticking down for you, one thing you can do, it's a little old fashioned, but you can use some duct tape. Now this is uh, like a Gorilla Tape type tape, and this stuff really sticks down nice, is really, really sticky. And so what you can do is just take a piece about that big right there, and you can just stick it over so you can see like what I would do is I would just stick it over like that right there and stick it down. And that will really make sure that that does not come up. Okay, that just is a double double secure that it's, it's not gonna peel up. Now, I would recommend if you're gonna do this, uh, choose black. Okay, this is just, I, I happen to leave black at home today and I could always come back and do this in black if I wanted, uh, but the, this this really makes sure that it's not gonna not gonna peel up at all. So it's just another way to really get it secured down. And again, because if you live somewhere where it's really warm, it gets really hot and humid, uh, it can be difficult to get these to stick down. But that's what we found. So it's getting some extra tape like that. And as long as you're just sticking sticking it around the side, and it, even if it's a black color, you're really not gonna see it that much. And again, that's just another way to keep those from, from ever popping up on you, okay? Now, so we've done the 20 section backrest, 20 section top lid cover. Now we're gonna do the 20 section bottom, okay? So this is the bottom cover here. We're gonna take off this little tag that did label it 20 section bottom. Some of them have labels, some don't. So just watch the video so you can see how to do these. Again, non-storage bottom. So we're just gonna fit this into place. You can see that there are uh, some little cutouts for the uh, seatbelt uh, little loops. If you end up wanting to, to use those to loop it through, uh, you can you can do that. I've kind of done it both ways, where you could do it with or or without that. Uh, I'll show you how to how to do it if you want to do it with it. So we're just going to take. This here, sometimes these can be a little bit tight, but let me see if I can get it here. And we just gotta pop that up and over. There you go, okay. That's popped in through now. That's gonna be your, your tightest one, just cause that's a big a square piece right there. Okay, now what I like to do is kind of fold this inside out like that. This is the foam backing right there, that blue foam that you can see, and then get it lined up before you really start sticking any Velcro down. Because once you start sticking Velcro down, it just becomes a lot more difficult to, a lot more difficult to move around and adjust around. Here's this other seatbelt piece right there. We push that one through, so that, that way you can see how these look by pushing it through there. Okay, so now that I have that in place, I'm gonna flip that around like that. I'm gonna try to keep, keep this front line lined up be good. That front corner right there. Okay. Just pushing that down on the front right there. And now, this has Velcro right here on the side right there. And then this has Velcro on the back as well. And that's that's really gonna be your, your main piece that's gonna keep that installed is this back piece. And there's some really good cloth to stick that on on the back. I'm just gonna push that through here. There we go. And once you stick that Velcro down, it's, it's gonna be that down nice and tight. So again, just make sure you have everything lined up pretty well before you put that one down. Here's these side pieces of Velcro. Okay, just stuck that one down on the side there.
Now here's this other side. And I'm just put, just kind of keeping my hand nice and tight against the, the seat there and just pushing that in, okay? That is how you get that one stuff down. Okay, so there's the, there's the 20 section bottom. You just feel behind, make sure that that Velcro all stuck down good. I can, I'm actually gonna undo it just a little bit and adjust it just a little bit. I wanna make sure it's nice and, nice and tight right there. Okay. Okay, now I'm just sticking that Velcro down to the cloth on the back side right there. Okay, sweet. So there's the 20 section is all done. We have the 20 section bottom in place, 20 section backrest, 20 section lid cover up here. Okay, looking good. Let's move to the bucket seats now. Okay, so this is the driver back or dri driver bucket seat now that we're gonna do. And again, we're installing this. I didn't mention this before. It's a black Dura, easy care. And it's a water resistant nylon, very durable, re really good uh, material for a lot of fleet trucks. We do these for a lot of fleets. So this one right here, this is the uh, headrest. And these Ram headrests pop off really easy. They're just two little tabs down below. Just pull those up and pull that off. Okay, so you're gonna need to take that off to be able to I uh, install these and let me show you this headrest real quick here just because uh, I got this in front of me here So here's the headrest section now. This is gonna be the the front side of the headrest is this hard velcro right there Back side is gonna be the soft velcro. Okay, so now I have that lined up and What I'm gonna do is kind of put this on the side against the seat so I can compress and after you just push it around, get all the sides down, you just take that Velcro and hook around right there. Should look just like this here, okay? So these these are coming down on the front right there. Everything's covered. Uh, and then it's gonna be able to go back in once we once we get the backrest done. We're gonna do it, we're doing this backrest now. And first thing you need to do on this truck is there's this little felt flap right here and you need to unhook that. There's these elastics that have these little plastics on them. So what you need to do is just reach underneath and you, they just pop off right there. Let me show you that. So that's those elastics that have those plastic hooks. That's what those look like. You just need to make sure you unhook those. It's gonna make your job a lot easier uh, as you do this. So before we do the backrest, we're actually gonna do the bottom section because of the way the backrest uh, installs. It's better if the, the bottom on this particular vehicle is done first. So I'm gonna get things into place. I've kind of folded these side flaps up to just kind of line things up first. And then going to start to push this through right here, just to kind of get it lined up, make sure these corners are looking good. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is now fold this flap over like that right there. Okay, and there's these, there's three straps that go to buckles. These straps, I'm just gonna get them out of the way for a second. Get any strings out of the way as well. Here's the strings there. And now what I'm gonna do is actually push that back for a second. And this is gonna push through the backrest and seat bottom underneath there. Okay, so that's gonna push through and then I'm gonna take all three straps, push them through as well. Because again, those straps are gonna go underneath the seat up to buckles. And next thing I'm gonna do is tuck in these side, these side flaps because I have this cover, kind of the front lined up where I want it. And let me show you right here. This is the side flap right here that I'm gonna push in. You could do this with your fingers, but we also send you, uh, there's gonna be a plastic tool, this little plastic tool, that's what this is for. You can use that tool, just kind of work that in. 
just like that on those sides. And then the other thing that you're gonna wanna do right now is take this string right here and take that string and you're gonna push it in on the inside of the seat and it's gonna, it's gonna drop down on the inside of the plastic right there and then drops through underneath right there. So here's this string right here that I was just talking about. I've tucked, I've just pushed it in on the inside and then it ends up dropping out right there. Okay, so now I have that and then that's gonna, and kind of gonna come around and tie off to the other string on the other side. That other string on the other side is pretty simple. It just goes around the outside of the seat right there. And then it's gonna tie up right there. And there's also this Velcro right here that's gonna attach onto the side of the seat. And I'm just gonna push that around and then it's gonna attach on right there. Now that this is pushed through back here, you're gonna wanna pull on that. Make sure it's pulled through nice and tight and, you're, and then go around, check the front, make sure you haven't pulled it too far back. But you're gonna get that lined up so it's nice and snug. And now there's three straps back here. Two outside straps that are gonna go forward underneath that are gonna go underneath forward to buckles and then cinch on. Now this middle strap is the safety strap. This makes sure that this cover never slides forward. Okay, so what this does is this is gonna go down to a metal bar underneath. I'm gonna loop that under a bar right now with, with one hand right now. Sorry about the lighting's kind of tricky on the bottom of these seats, but that's underneath there, okay? And then what I'm gonna, it's gonna come back to itself, okay? And then go on to this, uh, this buckle right here. And, on, and how we do all of these is we go through the middle strap right there, and then we go through that outside strap. And that is how you do all of these strap to buckle. So now these straps are just gonna go underneath, and I'm just gonna push them underneath there. I'll, I'll reach around when I go around to the other side, and those are gonna go underneath and go to the the buckles on the on the front side there. This one was from that, that center uh, safety strap. I'm just gonna tuck that up onto a bar, get it out of the way. Now, here's this outside string that I tucked around, okay? So here, there's that string there, and then there's another one that pushed through the seat, okay, on that outside right there, okay? So th now these two, what's gonna happen is they're going to tie off to themselves, okay? So what I'm gonna do is tie a loop in one here. Okay, so just kind of make a noose right there. And then this one right here, you're gonna go to each, it's gonna loop around that so then these two can tighten. Okay, and what I wanna do is I, I'm gonna pull these snug, but I'm not gonna crank too hard. You, you really don't have to uh, pull on these that hard to get them looking good. It's it's mostly for aesthetics anyhow, because it just kind of keeps the, the corners of the, the cover hugged against the seat. The buckles and the straps are what you can pull on harder to really make sure the, the cover doesn't slip around. But now that you did that, that's that's perfect. That's just what you need to do, do on those right there. Okay, now we're gonna go to the front side and do those buckles to straps. Now we're taking these straps that I just pushed up from the front, or from the back up to the front, and go into these buckles, again going through that middle slot and then the outside slot right there. And now you can cinch those down. And one thing I like to do is give it a little bit of pressure up at the top right here. And that just makes sure that everything cinches down nice and tight like that. Okay, that's looking good there. Also, let's do this, this other side. Give it a little pressure. You don't want to, you don't want to pull them down too tight, but just enough so they get nice and snug right there. You know, you can see how it's just really like a glove, nice tight glove, just holding that seat. Just perfect, great. Okay, and then you can see that that, sh that corner is held up nice and tight to the seat. And that's because of that string around the outside. And again, you don't have to, again, you don't have to crank that string real hard. It's just enough to get that so it, it hugs around the corner of the seat right there. Okay, perfect. That is the bottom section all done now. We're gonna do the backrest, pull it over, stick it to the Velcro there, show you that method. We're doing the driver backrest now. Okay, this is the, the cover right here. It's gonna have this, this felt down at the bottom right here, and then the outside 
is gonna have the airbag compatibility section. That's where it blows out right there, okay? So that's how you know that's the, the outside of the driver. And so we're just gonna put this over like this here. Okay, there are gonna be some head route, headrest cutouts, two little circular cutouts up here. And what you're gonna wanna do is take your white plastic tool here and, and fit those around. Now th this, these rams have the largest uh, plastic uh, headrest bases and sometimes this just is super tight to get around. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take some scissors and nip these to actually get them to, to fit around because it can be, be pretty pretty dang tight. Yeah, and that's, that's what I'm gonna do on these. I'm actually gonna cut some small little slits around this just to make sure these fit on better. I've taken the scissors and just nipped up the or, or I cut some little slits, you know, you can see the two little, uh, one little slit right there, one little slit right there. Not, so not big, but just, just a, give me a little bit more space to fit those around right there. Again, I wanna do them small so then you don't see it underneath the headrest there. Same thing on this side. There we go. Perfect, so those, those should fit underneath that headrest plastic right there, okay? Perfect, now we're just gonna work on getting this pulled down nice and tight on the front. And on the sides here. Okay, I just want to make sure these corners, everything's pulling nice and tight right there. And now I'm gonna push this front section through right here. So I, again, pulling that nice and tight against the seat, but then we're gonna push this through that crack right there. And then that belt that I just showed you a little bit earlier, that belt then is gonna stick down to that Velcro that was sewn on the top of the bottom cover. So it's gonna pull over and stick down. I'll show you that in a second. Make sure you get these sides all pushed out to the sides so it's all smoothed out up here. Perfect. That's, that's looking really good on that front. These sides are fitting in nice. Okay, so now that I have this pushed through right here, you're gonna want to make sure and be real careful of any cords, cables coming through right there. So don't be uh, yanking on those at all. Okay, so again, just pulling nice and tight. On that is that cover that's through there, and then there's this hard velcro down below that we're gonna stick this onto. And again, it's right down here, it's hard to see down here with the lighting. But what we're gonna do is we're just take that belt and just stick it right on to that velcro. Okay, and that's gonna keep that front side secured down. Perfect. Okay, so we got that down. And now, now that that's stuck down, we're good to take this back felt piece down over it. 
and we can hook this hook this on. Before I do that, I just wanna double check the front's looking good. Again, just a quick review on what we had done here is we had just pulled this felt flap through and then stuck it down to the Velcro that is sewn on the back side of the, the bottom section right there, okay? So that's why you have to do that. Yeah, that's why you have to do that bottom, uh, bottom section first, okay? So there's that Velcro down right there. Here's the felt push pulled through, stuck on right there. And now we're ready to take this top felt, bring it down, okay? And take these hooks, that, these plastic clips that we had un did at the beginning and take these underneath, hook them back onto a bar they just clip real easy back onto a bar. You just kind of reach underneath, feel for the bar there, clips on. Okay, now that that's done there, you can take this backrest piece, pull that down, and that is going to just stick down, stick down to the uh, to the cover right there. So. To the back side of that belt. There we go. Okay, sweet. Okay, now the, the last piece is just taking the, uh, on these, this outside right here. I'm just gonna take this airbag compatibility section. There's three little Velcro tabs, one, two, three, right there. Just pull those together, and there's your backrest all done right there. So now what we've done is we've done that whole backrest section, bottom section's done, finished the headrest cover. I'm gonna put the headrest back in now. So that's all looking good there. And the passenger side on this truck, it's gonna go on the exact same way that we did the driver side. So just repeat those same steps to do the passenger side and you're all set on this front row right here. And looking really nice in the black Dura Easy Care. Looks sweet, good job. This has been Neil here with Covers and Camo, your source for custom seat covers. Thanks for watching this install video. To see more, you can go to coversandcamo.com. Also check out our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channels to see more videos and build up a set like this. Again, you can build a set like this at coversandcamo.com. Thanks.